what is good everybody welcome back to another episode of respectfully i am your host cam farmer um i know it looks like i am uh about to go to church it's actually friday night at what time 11 12 p.m i had i uh i give kevin samuels and with all due respect rest in peace kevin samuels but i uh i went to a ball a unity ball tonight at uh uga the georgia museum of art it was really 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 fun yeah i mean those who've uh who organized it and created it and uh executed it uh shout out sierra walker she she did that man she she was great she did that along with the bac uh council at, at UGA. So shout out to you all. Shout out to Sierra. Uh, you guys did that for real. Um, I wanted to come on here for a few minutes because it is late. I am very tired. Uh, I wanted to come on here to really talk about um, a f- one thing in particular. Uh, I'm going to just get right into it. I love when athletes have, I love how athletes have um, grown to develop their own platforms in other words they have their own podcasts and i love learning from athletes Uh, there's a reason why the respectfully podcast has uh special guests that were you know that are that that have played in their sports whether it be uh whether it be you know whether they played in high school whether they played um you know d1 d2 athletes uh i mean my younger brother Jaden, who was on dad you're wrong he he's a former high school athlete for grovetown high school he's a football he played football and i love i love learning from athletes as somebody who is looking to who looks at this as a lifestyle you know i don't look how do i say this i um because i'm trying to process my thoughts so This is my life. This is my livelihood. I love being a journalist. And this podcast and Dad Jerome, rather, uh, have been really, really good for me. I don't make those podcasts just so that I can just get on television. Like, no, I enjoy making these podcasts. I enjoy the feedback that I've received from these podcasts. There's a reason why I always have these ath- why I always have athletes on the podcast so I can learn from them. There's I have an issue with former athletes such as such as Shaquille O'Neal who likes to throw around the fact that he has G14 classification to say whatever he wants about um to say whatever he wants about anything pertaining sport he can say whatever he wants and personally i don't really think that's fair to say i mean necessarily say fair okay yes he played he was four time nba champion arguably the most dominant big man in the league in league hist- in nba history but i don't think i think what he said it's half it's half right there are some journalists that haven't played collegiately or professionally that know what they're talking about when it comes to sports. I'm going to keep it 100. My father, Terrence Farmer, he did not play a lick of high school athletics. He did not do anything high school sports-wise. He didn't play collegiately. He didn't even play professionally. But every time I hear this man talk about football, or basketball it feels as if he has played because he knows what he's talking about Jaden, my little brother like i said he didn't even play collegiately he had dreams to play professionally but god altered his path Jaden, is and this is where video games comes in and this is where esports is in a way relevant not in a way it is relevant uh Jaden learns like literally how to break down a basketball play from playing nba 2k my brother 
got he automatically got Madden because he automatically understood the plays, he understood the routes because he actually played football. But my brother didn't play basketball. He didn't play basketball. But Jaden is one of the smartest minds. I'm gonna take that a step further. My brother is the smartest mind I have ever known in my life. The smartest mind. I don't care what anybody says. And if he and if he sees this, Jaden, I love you, bro. What I'm saying is, I do not like when athletes throw around what they've done in the faces of people who haven't played sports. As is, as it, as as it, you know, to say if it's saying like, well, you don't know what you're talking about because you didn't play. It's I'm not gonna lie to you. Gives telling a white person to not speak on black issues because they're not black. Meanwhile, there are white people who do speak on black issues that in a way, yes, even though they know that they will never walk a mile in my shoes as a black man in this country, they empathize and they educate themselves, which is why it makes me, which is why it allows me to I wouldn't necessarily say open up to, or easily open up, but it allows me to learn from them. It does. I yes, I learn about white. I learn about race. I do. Some of y'all may not may not the word the two words two words that I that I gave myself that I said the two words educate yourself. Stephen A. Smith despite the fact that I may not agree with him on certain things, he at least educates himself on, on, on certain things. And I'm not going to lie to you. I know people don't like Stephen. I know like Stephen A. Smith. I get that. But the man didn't, he didn't get there. He didn't get to where he was at overnight. I want to put that in proper perspective. You have your personal opinions about Stephen A. But if you do your research, and I was one of those people, I was one of those people like, well, he, don't, he ain't played no sport. He, he don't know what he's talking about. I done my research. The man has earned his opinion. He's earned his opinion. It, focusing on journalism, he has earned his opinion. Now, I get it. You you have people who are looking for, you know, who who fishes for clicks and uh controversies and all those things, but as a journalist, somebody who has never played a sport collegiately nor professionally, why can't I talk about the game? of basketball and i'm sure some of you have watched these reels enough to know that i know a thing or two about basketball to know that i know a thing or two about football even though i may not post as much i even though i may not post as much football content as i'd like i, I know a little football i know a little baseball as a matter of fact baseball was actually I actually and i don't even consider it a challenge to learn baseball why because it's sports i love sports draymond green is arguably the most vocal person when he talks about new media. If you know the game of the respective sport, if you know the game of football, the game of football will give you enough to talk about. If you know the game of basketball, the game of basketball will, will give you enough to talk about. If you know the game of tennis, golf, volleyball, cheerleading, if you know those respective crafts, if you know those respective crafts, those respective crafts will give you enough to talk about. Very simple. It's not rocket science. So I don't, I don't bring athletes on this podcast just so I can say, hey, I, yeah, like I had them on the podcast. Like, no, there's, there's, a, there's a genuine intent behind having every athlete that I've, that's been on this podcast that you see on these reels. There are, there is a genuine intent behind those, behind having these athletes, a genuine intent. And there is going to be a genuine intent when I have more athletes on this podcast. But I will remind y'all, I'm not doing this podcast forever. I'm not. But that does not mean I'm not going to enjoy myself. I enjoy making this content. And I pray that some of the things that I've said about basketball, even though I've never played collegiately, even though I've never played professionally, I only played high school tennis. Shout out Chloe and Emma and Ty Hansen. Even though I only played tennis, everybody who was around me in high school, especially Grovetown High School, they knew how much I loved basketball. 
I love basketball. I love it. I love it. I pray to God that some of the things that I say, pray that some people, at least one person, at least one person learns from it because I'm still learning myself. I'm still learning myself. Time out. As an athlete, you shouldn't be. And as athlete, these and all these athletes who won championships, the Udonis Haslam's, the Shaquille's on the Shaquille O'Neal's, the Cam Newton's, all these athletes who have their own podcast. That's great. That's wonderful. But instead of downplaying the non-athletes and what they know about the sport and, and things of that nature, instead of downplaying it, how about you use your platform to educate us? One thing I did not like, I do not like when athletes do that. Shaquille O'Neal, oh, I have G14 classification. I can say whatever thing, I can say whatever I want because I, I know what it's like in the locker room. I know, I know what it's like to win championships. I know what it's like to be on contenders. I know what it's like to do X, Y, Z. Okay, great. That don't make you above me. Sure, you have more experience than me. That don't make you better than me. And best believe, and I don't, and I'm not throwing this card to brag or boast because I've come so far. I've come so far. God has brought me a mighty long way. I was very fortunate enough to get my degree in sport management. And I'm working on my second degree in journalism. So in the interest of G14 classification about who can talk sports and who can't, I'm going to talk mine. And if you honestly think and should God bless me to be in the presence of Hall of Fame athletes and covering sports with them, should I be in that position? If they genuinely think I'm going to just sit back and not say nothing and say, I agree with you, I agree with you, I agree with you, I agree with you, just because you are a four time NBA champion, four time NFL Super Bowl champion, you are out your god dang mind. Respectfully. Nah. The Bible, the Bible says in 1 Timothy, let no man despise thy youth. And given I'm a relatively, I'm only 23 years old, I feel like that statement that Shaq made was directed towards me. Well, well, Cam, well, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> if you felt some type of way, you were probably the person that I was talking to. Yeah, because I'm not an athlete. I, didn't, I don't play collegiate sports. I don't play, high, I didn't play professionally. I only played high school tennis at Grovetown High School in Columbia County. And for all of my Columbia County people, Richmond County people, we don't care about high school tennis. Now, personally, speaking for me and me only, I loved playing tennis my senior year of high school. I love creating bonds with Chloe. Shout out Chloe Guler. Shout out Emma Marshall. Shout out Tyler Hansen. Shout out Naya Kim. Johnny Chang. I, I, oh, and his brother. I forgot his brother's name. I love, oh, Coach Buchanan, Coach Thomas. I enjoyed my time playing tennis. But let's face facts. Nobody cared about tennis. Columbia County is a football and baseball. It's really a majority. It's majority a baseball county. And football is a close second. Nobody cares about tennis. But I lettered. I got most improved player of the year. So if anybody cared about it, it was me. So I say all that. I say all that to say this. If you are a collegiate athlete, and if and, and I and, and I get it, I understand everybody. Social media has given people the false sense of reality that they know everything they do not. Every time I see every time I see a, uh, a, a picture on ESPN um, with, you know, let's say I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, who, who, who do people think is overrated in the NBA? Who do think people? Who do people think is overrated in the NBA? Oh, okay. No way. I lied. I'm actually. Anyways, I get it. People, people genuinely think that they can. Ju- yes, to Shaq's point. Yes, he is. He was half right. That's why I say he was half right. He was half right about that. Um. But for the other people, myself included, who's in a, who's a journalist, who has who dreams big all the time and is doing all that he can to put himself with the help of Lord Jesus, who is doing all that he can to put himself in a position to meet people, to network, to get in these rooms. Um, I'm going to earn my opinion and I get it. 
on this podcast, I can say whatever I want. I could do whatever I want. Yes, that is very true. But when I say earn my opinion, I'm not talking about making the most money. I'm not talking about uh, living in the biggest houses. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. When I say I'm going to earn my opinion, I will know when I've earned my opinion. And when I say I've earned my my opinion, I mean NBA champ, four time NBA, whoever God allows me to work with in the future, Hall of Famers, whatever. They're not gonna downplay what I know about the sport. They're not gonna downplay. It. And Adam Lefko was in that interview, or not in an interview. He was in that podcast session because it was him. It was Adam Lefko, Cam Newton, and Shaquille O'Neal. Adam Lefko is like, he's the host. He's the, he's a host, right? And for NBA on TNT. And uh, typically for people who didn't really play sports like that, they're typically more into the hosting role. I don't want to be just a host. I want to be somebody that, that can actually break down the game, like what I see in the game. And I feel like typically, yes, I get it. Typically, you're, you're, you're retired, current Hall of Famer. Yes, typically they break down the game. But in the most respectful way, Charles Barkley does not break down the game. I'm sorry. Charles Barkley, I, 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 I like Chuck. I like Charles Barkley. This, 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 this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. This is how I feel. Every time I watch NBA on TNT, I'm only watching NBA on TNT for one thing and one thing only. I love Ernie Johnson. Ernie Johnson is the GOAT. I really don't watch it for Shaq. I don't watch it for Kenny the Jet Smith. I don't watch it for Charles Barkley, with all due respect. And I actually met Ernie Johnson. And for those of you that don't know, the man takes, it's a lot of preparation for what he does. It's a lot of preparation, a lot. And I don't really watch NBA on TNT, like inside the NBA for Shaq, Kenny, and Chuck. And respectfully, Chuck doesn't even break down the game. He knows the game, but he doesn't break it down. At least to me, he doesn't. At least to me. Now, don't get me wrong. Bro is funny. I'm willing to bet all my money that if he, if I were to meet him, I would laugh a lot. He's very funny. Very funny. He and Shaq are like, they could really, they really could be brothers. But I say all that to say this. I will know when I earned my opinion, when journalists like myself can feel confident in saying what they say without feeling, um, guilty over it because they didn't play collegiately or professionally now at the same time i do see why a lot of athletes say those things because you have journalists who didn't play such as stephen a smith who is known for his controversial takes i.e kwame brown he gave a take about Kawhi leonard when he was injured last year in the postseason game two he gave, he said that Steve Ballmer should force, the, should force Kawhi Leonard to retire just because he had an untimely injury. So trust me, I get why athletes say those things. I get it. I get it. Trust me. But at the same time, as an upcoming journalist, as a journalist, not upcoming, I am a journalist. As a journalist, I'm going to do all that I can to preserve the integrity that comes with being a journalist because I counted an honor to be the bridge between the between the consumer, right? Between the consumer and where they get their news from. And it's up to them to interpret what I write, but I'm not the type of person that 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 just that's just going to write stuff where like, it's like a riddle, like read between the lines. Like, no, like I'm going to write what I see and I'm going to effectively storytell what I see. So I say all that to say this. Um, I'm enjoying what I'm doing now. The only thing I ask, if athletes want us to learn from them so bad, I simply ask athletes to learn from those who really love the sport and aren't looking for clicks and aren't looking for controversies because like Draymond Green said if you know the game it, whatever sport it is if you know the game the game will give you enough to talk about and unfortunately social media 
has made people think that they can literally get a free PhD, period. So, but I, I love Shaq. I'm a fan. I love Cam Newton. I love all those guys. But at the same time, everybody isn't, everybody isn't wired the same. Now, I'm sure I'm going to step on some toes with my takes, but that, that comes with the job. And plus, it's my opinion. And as far as I see it, I'm earning my opinion right now. But yeah, anyways, thank y'all for tuning into this episode. I'm going to bed. I am tired. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Y'all have a great weekend. Please stay safe. Uh, Hug on your loved ones. Tell them you love them. Tell them you love them. You appreciate them. And uh, and just give them a big fat hug. Yeah, just give them a big, big fat hug from camp, from camp. Um, But yeah. Have a great weekend, y'all. Stay safe. God bless you. Love.